Korean person with you to enter the club, you just kind of like, why? Especially be wary of the Hongdae boys. I say yo, and you have to say yo. guys are well and i hope you guys are safe like oh my gosh it's been ages since i've done like a sit down sit down youtube video as you guys will call it but yeah so first let me introduce myself so my name is shia i am an english teacher that is currently living in south korea i have been here for almost two and two and a bit years i think almost two and a bit years and yeah so if you'd like to follow me i uh, can follow me and subscribe you can also follow me on tiktok instagram TikTok, Instagram, and that's it, I think. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today, you know, as I have been here for like almost three years now, it'll be three years next year, I just wanna talk about some things that I feel like you as a black woman should know if you wanna come live here, like if you wanna come work here, if you wanna come and study here, you know, things you should know before you come here. Um, or, you know, you don't have to be black, you could just be a woman and you wanna know, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, so as I said, I have been here for almost three years now, so I do have some sort of experience, you know, living here. I think I've gathered enough experience um, because when I came here for my first year, I didn't want to do a video like this because I've only been here for a year. That's not enough enough information for me to gather and then give it to you guys. But now that I've been here for a while, I feel like I can share you like my thoughts and opinions about living here. So obviously, if you want to come to Korea, there's two things you can do. You can either work here or you can be a student here. So I am a teacher. Um, if you are a foreigner, I think getting jobs here are quite difficult. As a foreigner, there's only a limited amount of jobs you can do. It's either you work for a company and that company has a branch in South Korea, so you can just move from that company to here. Or you can be a teacher or you can be a model. You can also be a model here and I think you can also be like a content creator here as well. So those are the jobs so far as I know that you can get as a foreign. So for me, obviously I wanted to be a teacher here um, because believe it or not, I actually enjoy kids. I like kids, you know? I feel like they unleash my inner kid. So I wanted to be a, <laughs> even though that's not a good reason to be a teacher, but yeah, I wanted to be a teacher. So for me, I went through Epic. I did do the hack one. So through Epic, you apply and you, do the application you put your picture and you send it off and it's a whole process if you want me to do a video about the epic process then i will happily do that it was fairly easy i would say so far as you have the necessary documents so you have to obviously be a citizen of one of the western countries so us canada south africa the uk and Australia, I think Australia, I don't, I think and New Zealand as well. I think one of those countries, you have to be born there, you have to live there, you have to have a degree. If you have a degree, then you also need to make like a lesson plan of what you would teach, and you have to have your references, and then you have things for that. So it was fairly simple. I didn't face, I don't think I faced any discrimination through this process, um, and that's going through public school I think but I have heard that if you want to do Hagwon it is a little bit more difficult um, especially if you are a person of colour because unfortunately people still some people still have the ideology that you know white equals English and if you are a person of colour they don't really understand that you can be a person of colour and come from the UK and the US so yeah I have heard um, of situations where you know black people or brown people have been denied jobs just because of their skin color just because of their skin color not because they didn't have the qualifications they were ace and that but because they were black because they were brown it was a straight no and this is for hack one guys this is not for public school public school i haven't heard any cases of where they've discriminated because of your skin color but in hack ones they do do that if you want to become a teacher I would suggest probably going through public school because you do have more security and I feel like you don't face as much discrimination as you would if you applied through a private school. But this is just my experience guys. So you may want to do like other researches from other like people who YouTubers as well. So my work life here has been pretty good. I have been blessed. God has blessed me, you know, with actually really nice co-teachers. Like I haven't had a horrid co-teacher where I was unable to work with her, like made my life a misery. I haven't had that. All my co-teachers have been absolutely amazing, absolutely lovely. Um, whilst I have been teaching, I haven't 
face like racism i haven't faced like any like racist comments while i'm in school obviously the kids are curious because obviously i'm a men and goddess so Sorry, I'm a mentally goddess. So obviously, because my palm is pale and then my back of my hand is like brown, they're kind of like, oh, why? Why is your... And me, I don't even have an answer. I don't know what to say. I'm just like, I don't know. God made me this way. I have no idea. So that's the only thing I've got in terms of um, skin color. I think one time a baby, like, a student, I think she was like in... I think she was like in the second grade. Her and her friends saw me and they was like, oh, oh, she looks like chocolate, chocolate skin. And I was just like, thank you. Yeah, so, but that's just my experience. Like I said, I feel like I've been blessed in that department. Some other, some of my friends have had like really not good experiences, like, you know, nasty comments and all that stuff. So if I suggest like, you pray or what pray in whoever you believe in or you know manifest to the universe if you want to be a teacher here that you have a good school you have good teachers and you have like a good work life because to be honest when you live in south korea that can either make or break you like having a good experience especially with your co-teachers can make or break your like time here because you're going to be with your co-teachers the majority of the week so yeah you definitely need to pray and like think about that from me i don't know why i'm really like touchy on the subject like i'm not that type of person like to put my business out there but whatever we're going to talk about dating because obviously if you're in a country you know you want to find love you want to be in a couple you know you want to do couple things as you you know you do so um yeah dating if you are um if you plan to date in korea i would suggest suggest be like very prepared like of letdowns and stuff so obviously we have like we have tinder we have bumble there's apps you can use and on tinder i don't know why people on tiktok are like saying oh my gosh i went to korea and all these good looking guys were on guys if you go on tinder like i'm gonna say 80 percent of them are catfishes they are not real guys at all so you have to be careful like in that subject and you know tell like see how you can tell if they're catfish or not so for me personally i do have tinder i do have tinder but i go on tinder because i'm nosy i just want to see what people look like how people's how people's tinder pro <laughs> i can't even speak how people's tinder profile looks like on tinder so i'm just kind of nosy i'm just like oh okay you know do a bit of that do a bit of that um have i been on a date i have been on a date um but it wasn't with a korean it was with like a military guys a military guy and he was like he was nice and stuff but i didn't really feel the connection do you know what i mean it wasn't a bit of me it wasn't a bit of me i don't feel that but yeah Sorry, let me tell you your like dating pool like what you can do here so on tinder in korean general you have only two options you either date koreans or you date foreigners so in that foreign foreign group you have military and you have teachers and sometimes you have models um i would suggest <laughs> you date teachers um more than military guys just because military guys aren't really that serious like they're not here for a long time you know they just want to have their fun and go which is fine so if you are down just you know you want to spend a year you want to spend a year here you know have a bit of fun blah 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 good on you you do that but if you are looking for a serious relationship they are not the way to go at all um in terms of korean guys i'm just going to be honest when it comes to foreign women they do tend to treat foreign women different as opposed to they would treat korean women so with foreign women i think they treat them more like oh they're not going to be here for a long time i just want to have fun i'll say whatever you know and do whatever with them which is kind of unfortunate um but i'm not saying all of them are like that not all of them some of them do generally want to have a relationship with you um which is great which is fine so i will say i think a few of my friends are dating korean guys and it's going well like there's nothing wrong it's going well everything's fine everything's cool but other ones have dated um korean guys and it hasn't gone well and it isn't good i personally haven't spoken to a korean in that way i haven't spoken to them in a like relationship type of way or i just want to make friends do you know what i mean i want to have korean friends so when i come back i can stay at somebody's house 
Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do. If you are dating as a black woman especially, there's this mindset that they have that we're super hypersexual and you know, we're always like down to do whatever, blah, 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 blah. And that's really not the case, like at all. Like even if we are sexually liberated, it's not gonna be like how they think sexual liberation should be, if that makes sense. So yeah, you do have to be like careful of that if you're a black woman trying to date in Korea. Especially be wary of the Hongdae boys. Those Hongdae, you know, those <laughs> Hongdae boys that like hip hop and rap, be careful because sometimes they do just fetishize black women because they've seen hip hop and they see, oh my gosh, I have to, I just have to have a black woman. I just, I, I need to have a black woman. I need her to fulfill my aesthetic of hip hop. So my overall consensus of dating is Korea, in Korea is one, do your background check. And when I mean background check, check if they are catfish, check if they are relationship, check if they are who they say they are. Also be careful of fetishes. Fetishes. Is it fetish? Fetishes. Be careful of fetishes and yeah just be careful in general as a woman dating in a foreign country like don't be reckless have fun but don't be reckless so racism is korea racist i would like to find a country that isn't racist on this whole planet i would like you to find me a country that isn't racist on this whole planet okay um I wouldn't say Korea is as racist as they would be in the US or in the UK. Like, I don't think that's the case. I feel like you are more likely to experience xenophobia here as opposed to racism. Um, and when I mean, especially during these um, mad piece of chromosome virus times, um, it, is, it has been very prevalent, especially if you go on TikTok, um, you can see like other teachers and like, models like they go to certain places and they are like no sorry no foreigners allowed because of corona no foreigners allowed like yeah it's pretty bad especially in this time so and because korea doesn't have an anti-discrimination law yet there is nothing you can really do about it so if a restaurant if a club if a bar if a shop wants to turn you away purely on the basis of you being a foreigner they are allowed to do that in terms of me i've been here for almost Three years and I haven't experienced any nasty like racism like oh my gosh you're you're you know and even though they do have a word for black people in Korea a really nasty word um, I've never heard that word before I've never heard that word the worst word I've heard is wake kid and you know wake kid means foreigner so that's the worst word I've worst word I've heard so there have been a few situations especially here in Daegu I think there was one time when the like outbreak just started there was this lantern festival and the people who are doing the lantern festival specifically said um no foreigners should come to the lantern festival and there was another time you know especially in clubs they will fully be like no sorry no foreigners don't care what you have to say no foreigners but in some cases you can enter the club but you do have to have like a korean person with you to enter the club why but yeah so i think you're more likely to experience xenophobia here as opposed to racism the most racist thing i've had or xenophobic thing i've had is when me and my friends were talking on the escalator going up and there was this drunk man and he was just speaking in korean he was just like oh you're in korea you should speak korean and we had just on just got there do you know what i mean and obviously i want to brag but I think my Korean is pretty decent. Like, I have to say yo, and you have to say yo. Shayo imi da, shayo imi da. So going clubbing as well. Been to a club with my friends, especially in Daegu. There's there was only like four clubs we could go to in Daegu just for foreigners. Like, and obviously Korean people can come in, but it was only four clubs we could go to. I don't know if that's changed now because I haven't gone clubbing since the outbreak. So I don't know if that's changed. If it does change when I do go I will kind of let you know so if you are worried about racism as a black person um, I think you're more you should be more concerned with xenophobia as opposed to racism because xenophobia even affects the white people that are here like even you know they're white but they will tell them no you are a foreigner and you cannot come in 
be mindful of that when you come here like i said there is nothing you can't report it because it's not illegal it's not against the law you know to do that type of stuff so if you do come here just be aware of that situation is the xenophobia very like obvious and prevalent no but don't let that like ruin your time here because you are here to have fun you're here to make money you're here to meet new people do all of that great so the next thing you need to know is clothes and hair hair as a black woman in korea okay so if you are living in the major cities which is um, seoul busan Daegu, and i think daejeon you are more more likely to find a black hairdresser in your area like you can find some uh, but if you are in a rural area you may need to leave that rural area and come to a major city to get your hair done that is something you need to take into consideration um like i said i live in daegu so there i would say there's maybe seven seven maybe if not more um hairstylists in daegu so you can have your pick and choose it um i would suggest if you do go to a stylist here make sure you keep your style your hair style very simple because you can be disappointed sometimes like if you want really intricate like hair braids and stuff and they sometimes they won't be able to do it and you've paid money just try and keep it like simple like braids or twists like something easy and simple for you to do so as you know um, asian people tend to be smaller than western people i am not a skinny mini so i order my clothes online i get my clothes from asos ASOS, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, Nasty Gal, like all those places, I get it and then it comes here. The, however, the shipping does take quite a long time, like sometimes it's two weeks, three weeks to get here. But for ASOS, if you pay £20, it will come like in five days. But then sometimes, something that really irritates me is that you have to pay customs if you like buy something over a certain price so sometimes you may need to pay customs which is so annoying but what can you do do you know what i mean they do have a few plus size stores here in korea there is an online website called j style and they do like plus size clothing for plus size women which is really nice there is a plus size store in busan they're called plus size queen and they are located in busan and they do really nice clothes for plus size women so it, it's an actual store you can go to the store try on the clothes and then buy the clothes and i think the Woman that works here is really nice and really lovely so if you want to you know get some plus size clothing you can go to busan i think there are also some in daegu but I'm, i need to like find it and then i can tell you guys and i that i definitely know there's some in seoul for sure like because seoul is like the capital of the city but yeah so if when i do find it i will put it in the description box and you guys can have a look there overall if you want to come to korea these are the things you should be aware of now i do not want the things that i have said to you to deter you and make you not come here because like i said everyone's experience is different you may have a good experience you may have a bad experience but at the end of the day you've had that experience and i feel like just because i have said something you know that may have you know put you off or you feel like oh maybe it isn't for me just think about it carefully and then make your decision but yeah overall overall oh my gosh i can't speak today overall i think being here in korea has been absolutely amazing for me i like i said i feel like i've been really lucky with my co-teachers um because if i didn't have co-teachers i wouldn't stay here for another year i would have left um so your co-teachers definitely do make or break you your whole work environment makes or break you your university may make or break make or break your experience here so i do want you you know if you want to come do come to korea i think you would absolutely enjoy it and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this hopefully helpful and informative video um oh like i said i do post of where i do go um places i do go in korea on my tiktok so if you want to follow me on tiktok um I will put my TikTok here or I'll put it in the description box and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye guys!